selling yourself to a potential employer isn't always in the words you use. Turns out, 55% of our communication is nonverbal. In today's Project Jobs, we'll show you how to send the right signals. First impressions are everything especially in a job interview. It's really hard to fake body language. Don Strankowski is a career coach who helps train people for interviews, people like Jackie and Amanda. We took our two job seekers and gave them the opportunity to do a practice interview with Don, only they didn't know he wasn't going to pay attention to what they said. Hi, Don. Nice to meet you. We'll start with Jackie. She was a victim of a downsize this past June and is looking for a fresh start. After her interview with Don, we break the news that nothing she just told him really matters. So, Jackie, what we're going to be looking for here is body language. Jackie's interview starts off great. I thought you really looked like a professional. You really looked like the part, and that was a solid first impression. Also, handshakes are key. Your handshake was firm. You were friendly. You looked me right in the eye. But later in Jackie's interview, Don asked a question that throws her off. Jackie, why should I hire you for this position? Without even listening to her response, you can tell she hesitates and doesn't appear to have much confidence in her answer. If you were extremely confident about you being the best candidate and that I should hire you for this position, you probably would have came out right away and, first of all, uncoupled your hands and started using them immediately to make a point. So here's Jackie's scorecard. She dressed professionally, made great eye contact, had a firm and friendly handshake, but needs to work on keeping an open posture that shows confidence. And it may sound odd, but she could have done a better job using her hands while making a point. Our next job candidate is Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Don Strankowski. Hi, Amanda Miller. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet right off the bat, Don sees something he doesn't like. I want you to watch what you do when you state your name. Hi, Amanda Miller. You kind of looked down and said it under your breath. Hi, I'm Amanda Miller. That, that did resonate with me. Later in the interview, Amanda starts answering a question, but doesn't really finish it. Take a listen to the very end of her response. And I am a fast learner as well, so that shouldn't be a problem. You can see Amanda drifts off at the end. A strike, says Don, who offers this advice. Yeah. Almost like a baseball umpire, you state your answer and you're not going back on it. So always state it with confidence. While Amanda dressed professionally for her interview and did a great job of being engaged, there was one little thing that stood out. The nose ring was a little bit distracting to me. So here's some of Amanda's takeaways. First, she needs to work on her introduction and keep eye contact to show confidence. She can also do practice interviews so she's ready for any question and can answer with confidence and not trail off. Finally, her nose ring. While it is a gray area, Don says it's the safest bet to wait until after you get hired so you know the culture at the company. It takes maybe three seconds to formulate a first impression and 30 seconds for it to dry like resin. Now, making a good last impression is also important. Strankowski says after an interview, leave with a warm smile and a good handshake and leave them with a good closing statement that lets them know you're interested, but you aren't too pushy.